Hi guys, and welcome to video number 146. This one is on volume of prisms. Keywords are volume, prism, solid, cubed units, and cross section. Now the volume is the space that is inside a 3D object and it's measured in cubed units, units cubed, how many cubes there are inside that thing. A prism uh, is a shape that has a constant cross-sectional area. Okay, so that means it's got the same shape on the front of it as what it does on the back of it. Right, and it just has a length all the way through or a height depending on the orientation of the object. A solid is just a 3D object. Um, a cubed or cubed units are um, the what we measure volume in. And a cross section is, like I mentioned, the uh, the front face of the shape. Okay, the face that you see that you need to calculate the area of in order to work out the volume of a prism. Now, the method states, to calculate the volume of a 3D object, you must know your area formula really well. If you don't know them, please go and watch the area video that I have made for you. First step, once you know your area formula really well, is to calculate the area of the cross section. That's the front face of the shape. Then you multiply the result by the third dimension or the appropriate third dimension. There could be a few more on there that might throw you off. You might need to figure out which ones you actually need to use. And then you need to give your answer in cubed units. OK, so question number one asks us to calculate the volume of the 3D shape below. Could say volume of the solid, volume of the 3D object, whatever. This is a slightly trickier version of a question because we've got some mixed units here. We've got centimeters and meters. Well, first of all, we need to deal with that. We need to get rid of that being um, 1.2 meters and turn it into 120 centimeters. You could convert these to meters if you wanted to, but I think it's easier to make them whole numbers rather than decimals. So we're going 120 centimeters. Now, the area of the front face will be the, well, it's up to you, which you decide is the front face, but we could call this one the front face. Now that is just going to be a 14 multiplied by 120. So for that, I'm going to bring the calculator in. Uh, we could do it without, it could be non-calculated, but for speed, uh, we'll do it on the calculator. So 1680, let's write down what we did. 14 centimeters multiplied by 120 centimeters equals 1680, I think it was. 1680, I've got to try better to remember what that is. Now that answer would be in centimeters squared because that is the area of the front face. All right, we haven't worked out the answer to the question yet because what we want is the volume. Now all we've got to do is multiply by that third dimension. Okay, this this one here, all right? That's our third dimension. That's the one we didn't use. We're seeing how far this goes back. See, it's the same shape it is on the back as it is on the front. Okay, so what we're getting is the space inside it by doing 1680 centimeters squared and multiplying it by six centimeters. That's going to give our answer in centimeters cubed always for volume. And all I have to do on my calculator is just type in multiplied by six. And that gives me 10080 centimeters cubed. Um, and it, it should really say state the units of your answer and you pick up a mark actually just for stating the units of your answer in this particular question here. All right. Now we've got to state the name of the prism. This one is a cuboid. I might have already mentioned that it's a cuboid. That could be just before, to be fair, that question. That's a really easy answer if you can spot what that one is. Now, question number two, calculate the volume of this prism. Now this prism, we can answer that actually first. That is a, that is a, a triangular prism okay and uh, what we do to work out the volume of a triangular prism is we work out the area of the front face the area of the cross section and the cross section is uh, easily worked out here if we do the two dimensions here and here multiplied by uh, each other so four centimeters multiplied by six centimeters and then divide it by two because that's how we work out the area of a triangle. We do the base times the height and we half it. That's effectively that calculation there. So what that is is 24 um, divided by two, which is 12. So we get 12 centimeters squared for the area of the front face. Equally, you could do four times three, half that number first, and you still get 12 centimeters squared, right? Now what we do is we multiply it by the third dimension. Now there is a, there's a fourth dimension there. There's well, this, this number here, 
is just a diagonal length set. We do not need that for this calculation. That's just a red herring. It's just thrown in to annoy you. So we just do 12 centimeters squared and we multiply it by 24 uh, centimeters. And I'm going to get my calculator in to do that, even though you might not need to. It's always worth doing 288. And the answer would be in centimeters cubed. Okay. Now for the third and final question in this video, we've got a little bit of a tricky one. So um, the metal trophy shown is to be melted down and made into a solid cube. Find the length of the cube. Okay. So we've got a cube and a cube has some specific uh, properties in that all the lengths are the same of all the squares that make it up. All right. So the three dimensions that we're interested in for volume, the base, the depth and the height of the cube. Okay, they're all going to be the same. So we could call them X just for argument's sake. Okay, now just bear that in mind. That's what we're trying to work out what one of those lengths is. All right, but if we can get the volume of this, because it's the same as the volume of this, the, the, all the metal in this trophy is going to be melted down and made into a solid cube. The, the volume's not going to change. It's going to be equal to this. So if we work out the volume of this, we've, we've got the volume of this, which we can then work out the length of um, using one quick step at the end. So the first thing that we need to recognize here is that the front face of this um, prism is a trapezium. And to work out the area of a trapezium, you do the, or you can use the formula half A plus B H. Okay, that equals the area of a trapezium. Okay, so A and B are the parallel sides of the trapezium, that one and that one. All right, and we're just going to add those together to start with. That's our first step, add the A and B uh, values. So let's get my calculator in and we will do that because these are some horrible decimal numbers. Uh, 2.632 plus 5.56 equals another horrible decimal number. So we've got half of 8.192. Half of 8.192, then multiply it by the height, is going to be equal to the area. Remember the area of the trapezium, the gray face. Okay. Now we can half that answer. That would be the second step here. Um, so we do divided by 2, that equals um, 4.096. Um, and then we're going to multiply it by the height. And the height in this case is 1 meter, which in centimeters would be 100 centimeters. So again, it's another little bit of conversion we needed to chuck in there. And that is going to give us our area of our trapezium. So nice easy one there, we just multiply by 100, so I've got it on the calculator screen. I'll do it on there, but we know what that is, 409.6 centimetres squared equals the area. Okay, it's the area of our trapezium. Now, to get the volume, all we've got to do is multiply by the third dimension. So that's very simple, just move the decimal place one space to the right, so 4096 centimetres squared cubed equals our volume okay that's our volume of the trophy now that's also the volume of this cube all right now to undo the cubed nature of a number you can cube root it okay so we chuck that number four zero nine six into a cube root and what that does is it tells us that uh well it tells us what x is it tells us the length so I'm going to multiply that by 10 before I do anything else on my calculator, which is what I didn't do because I did that bit in my head. And then shift the square root button brings up the cube root button. And then you just pop in the answer and you get 16. OK, that is a cube number. So we can get our answer there. And now X therefore is 16, 16 multiplied by 16 multiplied by 16 would give you 4096, which would be the volume of that. So the length equals 16. And remember, we were working in centimeters cubed. So obviously 16 centimeters is what our answer is going to be. I hope that one makes sense. It's definitely a nice exam style question, that one.
All right. Um, take care of yourselves. Look after each other. Uh, like, subscribe. But most importantly, practice the skills that you learn in this by clicking the link in the description below. All right. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.